Good day my schoolers, you are welcome to my school YouTube channel and my name is Frank. In today's video, we are moving to another main topic in our video lessons and today we shall be focusing on thermodynamics and on that thermodynamics we shall learn about heat and temperature. So relax, do not go anywhere and we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school YouTube channel. In today's video, we shall focus on heat and temperature under thermodynamics. So before we begin with our lesson, let's quickly run through the objective for today's video. So objective number one, construct a device for measuring the temperature of a body. Two, use the variation of A, pressure of a gas with temperature. B, the expansion of solid, liquid or gas with temperature. C. Electrical resistance of a material to measure the temperature of a body. 3. Distinguish between heat and temperature and between point and temperature intervals. 4. Select those liquids which are suitable for use in liquid in glass thermometers from a given list of liquids and their properties. 5. Explain the device for measuring the temperature of an environment. 6. Describe the absolute scale of temperature and explain the meaning of the absolute zero of temperature. 7. Convert a given temperature on the Celsius scale to a temperature on the Kelvin scale. So let's move to the next slide. Let's begin with our lesson. So temperature is sometimes mistakenly used to mean heat. Heat and temperature have different meanings completely. So while heat measures the change in total internal energy of a body, temperature tends to tell us or temperature tells us uh, um, how hot or cold a body is okay so let's look at the uh, many definitions of heat and temperature okay so um, heat has two definitions okay basically so heat remember that heat is a form of energy okay so heat energy is the energy that is transferred from a hot object to a cooler object as a result of their difference in temperature it can as well be defined as a measure of the total internal energy of a body Okay, so let's define temperature. So let's see all the uh, definitions for temperature. So the first one is that temperature can be defined as a degree of hotness or coldness of a body or an environment. We can as well see the, uh, define it as a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles in a sample of matter. So let's move to the next slide. We can as well see define it as a measure of the ability of a substance or any physical system to transfer heat energy to another physical system. So these are the definitions for heat and temperature. So let's quickly look at the difference between heat and temperature. So on one side of this table, we have heat and on the other side, we have temperature. Okay, so let's begin with number one. The number one difference between both of them is that heat is a form of energy. Okay, heat is a form of energy. While temperature is a measure of the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. Okay, while two, heat, it is the total internal energy possessed by a body. Whereas temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the molecules of a body. Okay, then three, heat measures the direction of transfer of temperature. While temperature is directly related to the kinetic energy of the molecules of a body okay why for it causes a change in the temperature of a body okay heat causes a change in the temperature of a body whereas temperature does not change the heat energy of a body okay then number five its unit is joule because it's energy and the unit of energy is joule okay so the uh, unit of heat energy is joule whereas the unit of temperature is Kelvin or degree Celsius depending on the temperature scale okay you can as well add that it depends on the quantity of matter okay you can as well add that heat depends on the quantity of matter whereas temperature does not depend on the quantity of matter okay so these are the difference between heat and temperature so let's move to the next slide so on the next slide, we shall be considering the effect of heat on matter, okay? The effect of heat on matter when heat is applied to a body, okay? 
okay what happens to that body or what are the changes that you will observe one of them is that there will be rise in temperature okay there will be rise in temperature so when heat is applied to a substance its temperature increases and the kinetic theory explains this effect by stating that the heat energy is transferred to the particles causing them to move faster so as the particles move faster they collide more frequently leading to an increase in the substance internal energy and subsequently its temperature then number two effect of heat on matter is that it brings about change in state okay it brings about change in state so a substance can change state if heat is added for example if a substance is ice okay and heat is added it will melt into water but you must take note that during this change there is no change or there's no rise in temperature so temperature remains constant while the eyes melt into water okay and that heat that you apply to that substance we uh, provide the required energy to overcome the intermolecular forces between the particles okay of that substance but the kinetic theory explains it that at a certain temperature called the melting point or the boiling point the particles gain enough energy to break free from their fixed position and move to the next phase so that is actually what you refer to as change in state okay then number three we have expansion number three we have expansion so when matter is heated its particles gain kinetic energy and move more vigorously leading to an increase in the volume of the substance the kinetic theory explains it that the particles push against each other and the container resulting in expansion of matter so let's move to the next slide the number four is change of resistance number four is change of resistance in some materials such as metals okay the electrical resistance changes with temperature when these materials are heated their particles gain kinetic energy leading to more frequent collisions of charge carriers leading to an increase in resistance okay the another effect of heat on material is change of color okay is change of color heat can cause some substances to change color this effect is observed in chemical reactions where the arrangement of atoms of molecules changes leading to different absorption and emission of light okay why number six we have thermionic emission when a matter is heated to a sufficiently high temperature it emits electron from its surface and this phenomenon is what's referred to as thermonic emission okay and it is used in devices such as vacuum uh, vacuum tubes and electron microscopes but then the last but not the least is change in chemical properties change in chemical properties so heat can cause chemical reactions to occur at a faster rate the change of properties of substance and even cause a new substance to form these are some of the effects of heat on matter so let's move to the next slide so on the next slide there we are going to be describing thermometer so we are going to be learning about what a thermometer is how to construct it and the graduation of a simple thermometer so we know that a thermometer is a device that measures temperature or temperature gradient using a variety of different principles Okay, so thermometer has two important elements. Okay, so but in this case, we are going to be using the, um, the mercury thermometer, which is an example of liquid in glass thermometer. Okay, so the two important elements are the bulb. Okay, the bulb. So the bulb on the uh, mercury thermometer. And that bulb serves as the uh, temperature sensor. Okay, that is the temperature sensor. Because inside the bulb, you have the liquid, actually. So it serves as the temperature sensor in which some physical change occurs with temperature and another element is the scale on a mercury thermometer so this uh, scale on a mercury thermometer uh, is a means of converting this physical change into a numerical values which enable us to read the uh, temperature of the environment or whatever we are measuring its temperature okay so let's talk about the construction and graduation of a simple thermometer so a thermometer is calibrated by using two objects of known temperatures so the typical processes involve using the freezing point and the boiling point of water okay remember that water is known to freeze at zero degree and to boil at 100 degrees celsius okay at an atmospheric pressure of one 
atmosphere or one ATM. So how do we calibrate the, the simple thermometer? Now we calibrate it by placing that thermometer in a mixture of ice water and allowing the thermometer liquid to reach a stable height. The zero degree mark can be placed on the thermometer and this is known as the lower fist point. So the lower fist temperature point or lower fist point is the temperature of pure melting ice at standard atmospheric pressure of 760 millimeter mercury. So let's move to the next slide. So similarly, by placing the thermometer in boiling water at one atmosphere of pressure and, an, and allowing the liquid level to reach a stable height, the 100 degree mark can be placed upon the thermometer. And this is known as the upper fist point or the upper fist temperature point. Okay, and the upper fist temperature point is defined as the temperature of steam from pure boiling water at standard atmospheric pressure of 760 millimeter of mercury. Okay, so with these two markings placed upon the thermometer, 100 equally spaced divisions can be placed between them to represent the one degree mark. Since there is a linear relationship between the thermometer and the height of the liquid, the divisions between zero degree and 100 degree can be equally spaced. The difference in temperature between the two temperature points is called fundamental interval. Okay, so fundamental interval is just the uh, difference in temperature between the upper phase point and the lower phase point of a thermometer. Okay, then let's talk about the temperature scales. Okay, the temperature scale. So the calibration of this interval depends on the temperature scale chosen. There are three types of scales in current use, the Celsius scales, the Fahrenheit scale, the absolute or thermodynamic or Kelvin scales. So this is where we draw the curtain for the preview of today's video. You can watch the complete video by clicking on the link in the description below and that will take you to my school website. There you have to subscribe to enjoy the complete video. In the complete video, you will learn more about the temperature scale. You will also learn about thermometric liquids and some work examples and many more. I believe you enjoyed the preview which you have watched. If yes, please do not forget to hit the like button click on the subscribe button and lastly tap on the notification bell to get notified as soon as we release the next videos.